From shoreline work along the river to new basketball courts thanks to a generous giver. These stories and so much more coming up next on Richland Now. Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Richland Now. I'm Gail Everett. The City of Richland's 2018 microsurfacing project will begin in the coming weeks. This effort is funded by the Transportation Benefit District. When applied to a residential or minor arterial roadway, microsurfacing extends the life of the existing asphalt while sealing it from the harmful effects of water penetration and sun. The project begins August 13th and will be applied to Columbia Point Drive from Bradley Boulevard to the river, Stevens Drive between Williams and Swift Boulevards, Jadwin Avenue between Van Giesen and Williams, and a small section of Geyer. If you live on a road that will be affected by the project, you will be receiving direct communication from both the city and the contractor. For more information on the microsurfacing project, visit the City of Richland's webpage using the link below or call Public Works at 942-7500. Well, you will notice some minor changes the next time you visit one of our Dropbox recycling centers. Our recycling Dropbox contractor, Clayton Ward Recycling, made the changes to create a more efficient collection and exportation process. Recycling is now being separated as follows. Cardboard will be collected separately and not combined with plastic. Plastic bottles number one and two are combined with tin and aluminum. Newspapers, magazines, and phone books are combined with scrap paper. And as usual, glass is collected separately. Clayton Ward is in the process of relabeling the containers and changing the inner dividers. If you have any questions about recycling in Richland, visit the webpage below or call 942-7700. Back in February, Mr. James House appeared at a Richland City Council meeting to announce a $50,000 donation to renovate the basketball courts at Columbia Playfields. Mr. House is a Richland Bomber alumni and he frequented those basketball courts in the 1950s and 60s. His dream of seeing the courts rehabilitated has begun and work is in the final stages. A new concrete slab has been poured and lights, hoops, and acrylic paint will follow in August. Mark your calendars as a dedication ceremony is planned for September 8th. Mr. House's donation was paired with a $125,000 of block grant funding to cover the cost of the renovation. Well, a shoreline stabilization project is underway thanks to the Richland Rotary. The project will not only stabilize the bank, but it will add several more beach access areas along the Columbia River. The Rotary Club will start constructing the rock wall from Lee Dock South about 400 feet to where the current beaches are located. We anticipate this work to take two to three weeks to complete. During that time, the beach section will be closed during the week, but open on the weekends. The popular pathway will remain open, but workers will be hauling boulders across the south end of the trail near the Hampton Inn, so be cautious as you enjoy the pathway. The Richland Primary Candidates Voters Forum is now replaying on City View Cable 192. The forum, sponsored by League of Women Voters, was recently held at the Richland Public Library and features primary candidates for the District 8 positions for State Senate and Legislative Positions 1 and 2. The forum replays daily at 9 a.m., 3 p.m., and 9 p.m. The races are also available for viewing on City View's YouTube page. Well, Richland City View TV continues to make access to local government programming as easy and convenient as possible. In addition to streaming from the City of Richland's website, now you may also view the live cable cast from YouTube. The high definition stream is maximized for mobile and streaming devices, making it easy for you to stay informed on the go. Richland City View TV's YouTube page also features archived links to many of our award-winning programs, including Explore Richland, Richland Now, and City Corner. We are excited to announce that our annual National Night Out and City Fair extravaganza is scheduled for Tuesday, August 7th from 5.30 in the evening to 7.30 at John Dam Plaza. This is an opportunity to join your neighbors for a night out against crime. Learn how your city operates and allow Richland to welcome you to our community. The event will feature live entertainment and demonstrations. 
big rig displays, kids activities, information tables, and prizes. National Night Out and City Fair is a free family event and we hope to see you there. Well, one of our most popular community events returns to Howard Amon Park. Join over 220 artists of all varieties for the 68th annual Art in the Park, July 27th and the 28th. Art in the Park showcases the best of clay, fiber, sculpture, painting, jewelry, photography, and many other art forms. The event is free to attend and a shuttle service is available from Fran Rich Stadium to Howard Amon Park for a small fee, courtesy of Ben Franklin Transit. And the Windermere Summer Movie Series is once again a huge success. The movies are shown Fridays during the summer at various parks in Richland. There will be no movies shown on Friday the 27th of July. But the series continues Friday, August 3rd with Despicable Me 3 at Jaw Dam Plaza. Black Panther follows on August 10th, also at John Dam Plaza. And if you would like more information on any story you've seen here, or if you're looking for information on a specific topic, visit the City of Richland's webpage at the link below. And don't forget to interact with us on our social media platforms. We are where you are. Find us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. I'm Gail Everett. Thank you for joining me on this edition of Richland Now.